Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome back to the garden. Today we are going to be out here planting our tulips, finally. Um, now I ordered a lot of tulips this year. This year we are going to be planting just short of 1,500 tulips in a wide variety of shapes and colors, which I'm really, really, really excited about for our uh, cut flower donation garden for next spring. Um, it's a beautiful day, so I wanted to go ahead and get these into the ground as quickly as possible. Ideally, I like to plant tulips in October, around the end of October. Well, here we are, we're well into November already when I'm making this video. And really, things have just been delayed this year. It seems like all the bulb orders and all the bulb shipments have been really delayed. And I've even heard a lot of stuff about shortages for the next season and all kinds of stuff. Um, anyway, so we're gonna, just gonna get right into this. and. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just obviously select a site that drains really well, uh, gets plenty of sun throughout the day. And in my garden, it's really hard to find the space for bulbs. Um, I know a lot of people ask if these come back and whatnot, and we'll get into that a little bit later in the question and answer section. But for the most part, I treat my tulip bulbs as annuals. That means I'm just going to plant them one time, and after they bloom, I'm going to pull out the bulbs um, at the same time that I harvest the plants for cut flowers. So I am going to be using the trench planting technique much like I did with the daffodil bulbs. The main reason that I use trench planting is that I am able to pack just a lot of flowers into a very small space and as you guys know I'm very limited here on my space. So that's really, I really want to focus on putting these bulbs very close together in this trench. Obviously I'm just going to dig the trench about uh, twice the depth of the height of the bulb is a general guideline that most people use. Uh, I've found that I can get away with planting them just a little bit more shallow if I really want to, uh, but you do have to worry about things like voles and mice with tulip bulbs and squirrels. I know um, in my garden the squirrels dig these things up and take these things like crazy, which is a major pain. Um, I know a lot of people plant in cages or use row covers, you know, cover them throughout the entire season in hopes of kind of reducing the losses that they get from these kind of pests and things. I generally don't do anything and I only lose a few tulips, but it is frustrating. If you live in an area with a lot of deer, deer also like to eat tulips, so that's something to consider as well if you have any kind of grazing deer come spring eating your flowers uh, that's definitely not a good thing either but uh, what I'm gonna do after I've dug my trench is I'm just going to simply arrange these tulips very close together you can see I'm kind of arranging them uh, with maybe an inch between each tulip bulb you definitely do not want the bulbs to be touching the reason I am doing this is, um, you know, since these are a true bulb, the flower for the next season is already inside that bulb. So the fact that I'm planting them this close together is not going to interfere with the actual production of the flower bloom. That flower bloom is already in there. It's already predetermined, you know, what that bloom is going to look like. So I don't have to really worry about overcrowding the plants too terribly much. Uh, obviously want to give them enough room for their, you know, to produce roots and grow really well. Uh, that's a given. But in general, I can pack them in pretty close. I also don't have to worry about fertilizing at planting time. I'll get into that a little bit later as well. However, um, you know, you can use bulb fertilizer. Just I usually don't ever, um, at least with my tulips. Uh, after I have arranged all these different tulip varieties, I was very careful to make sure that I was uh, labeling these. You guys know from my other videos that I'm terrible about making labels and putting the labels in and making sure things are what they are. So I very carefully made sure to label everything so that we know exactly what we're planting, exactly what we're doing here. Uh, especially in springtime when, you know, these have been out all winter. Anyway, I'm just going to gently backfill the planting trench. Uh, you can, of course, pile your dirt up on, like, um, you know, a sheet of plywood or something and gently lift it back on there. It's the easiest way. I just used a shovel and uh, did it that way. Uh, if you're not planting tons and tons of tulip bulbs like I am, of course, you can use a bulb auger. Um, I have one. It just seems to me like they aren't really the most effective thing if you're planting a large variety. Even if you're planting just, like, a 10-pack of tulips, what I would do personally is just dig a hole with a shovel 
you know, if your soil, if you got nice garden soil and it's easy to work, it's easy to dig, I would just dig a hole with a shovel and arrange it as I've arranged these here um, in that close spacing and cover it back up with, you know, cover it back up with soil. Um, it just seems like sometimes the bulb auger is a lot more trouble than it's worth. After I've covered it back with the soil, I'm just going to kind of gently uh, kind of press it down a little bit and uh, we should be good to go for the remainder of winter. Um, it, the process of planting these two bulbs really is that simple. That's one of the reasons that I love bulbs and flower bulbs so incredibly much is just they are so easy. You know, it doesn't matter um, if you are a total beginner, as long as you are living in the right you know, climate zone, as long as the tulips are hardy to your zone, uh, you're going to have a really beautiful flower display, which I think is really, really awesome. Getting into some of our Q&A questions that we have. We had a lot of them asked them over on Instagram and on our main community page here on YouTube. If you're not following us here on Instagram already, be sure to do so. And we'd love to have you um, at Fresh Cut KY. You guys can know how to spell it just by the name of our YouTube channel, I guess. Uh, love to have you over there posting pictures all the time. Getting right into this question, if you could only put one variety of tulip and one bouquet partner, what would you choose? That's a tough one. Uh, I would definitely choose La Belle Epoque just because it is so dreamy and so just cream colored and pretty and there's these hints of purple and pink that are just really, really lovely. And if I were to choose a bouquet partner for it, I would definitely pick the um, Italian Elegance Salmon Ranunculus. Uh, this is a ranunculus that we grew last season. Um, it's one of the more expensive varieties of ranunculus, but again, it is just so beautiful. It's just this beautiful peachy color. I know, I'm not sure if by bouquet partner you meant like, you know, filler foliage, but I'm picking ranunculus because uh, ranunculus are hands down one of my favorites. Um, are you going to use an auger for the tulips? Uh, I kind of already touched on that. I don't really use my auger too much. In the past, I've used an auger to plant uh, things like sweet peas in very, very wet soil. Because sometimes, you know, the season here is just so wet, I can't get anything into the ground. Um, in general, I just avoid using an auger. It seems like once we have a planting hole, the soil around the augered hole is compacted. And I don't know, it's just not my thing. Um, I'm sure it works, I'm sure it's fine to use, but it's just not my thing. Can tulips be stored in the refrigerator until getting planted? Uh, yes, absolutely. In fact, um, some people in warmer climates, you know, if you live in a warmer climate where tulips do not get enough chill hours, tulips will require a certain amount of chill hours in order to get them to bloom. Uh, certain people buy pre-chilled tulips or chill their own tulip bulbs. Unfortunately, I don't know much about that process because I don't have to do it here where I am. Maybe that's something I'll explore in the future with our tulips is, you know, chilling our own tulips and things like that, but I don't really know about that. If you are chilling your own tulip bulbs uh, or storing them until you can get them planted, you need to be careful about putting them in the fridge because um, anything that produces ethylene gas will kill the flower bulb, um, you know, and cause them not to bloom. So things like just um, apples sitting in your fridge going bad, uh, that will cause major issues with your tulips. At least I think that's always what I've heard. I'm just telling you guys what I've heard, what I know, uh, what I've always personally believed. Anytime you're watching one of these videos, you always need to fact check me and research. That's the most important part about doing anything on the internet. Would planting tulip bulbs in a raised bed work as well as in ground? Absolutely. I see people plant in raised beds and containers and everything all the time. As I've already mentioned, uh, tulip bulbs are very hardy. I don't know what their cold tolerance zone is, but it's very hardy. So I wouldn't worry about, um, you know, planting them in raised beds. As long as you got that depth right and um, there's protection from the cold at a proper planting depth, I don't think it's really much of a worry. Also, in raised beds and containers, um, I would also kind of worry about keeping the squirrels out of them as well, because I know whenever I have a container, the squirrels just, you know, are always getting into it. Do you treat as an annual any fertilizing? I definitely treat them as an annual. We already touched on this a little bit, as well as fertilizer. Um, in general, tulips do not come back for me. 
Uh, this also touches on another question I think that someone had. Um, unfortunately, I can't find it now. But um, tulips do not come back for me. Tulips will come back for some people. It just depends on your growing zone. Here for me, I talked to one of the tulip suppliers a long time ago. And one of the main things that helps in the tulips coming back is that your summer weather is hot and dry. Now, here where I live, my summer weather is hot, but it also is extremely humid. Um, as far as I know, this wetness and rain and humidity causes the tulip bulbs to kind of split into two different bulbs, two smaller bulbs, as they're in the ground over the summer, even when I let the foliage die completely back, okay? So, um, if you are trying to perennialize your tulips and get them to come back another year, uh, what you really need to pay attention to is letting that foliage completely die back naturally. And in addition to letting the foliage die back naturally, after bloom, um, it's also a good idea to fertilize the tulip bulbs then with a bulb fertilizer. Um, I generally don't do it. I pull up my tulips whenever they're done blooming. Um, and usually when I harvest them for cut flowers, I just yank the bulb out of the ground too and toss it into the garbage. Uh, I know it's not ideal. I wish I could get multiple years out of my tulips, but for me, it's just simply not a thing that I can do. But if you do want to try to get um, subsequent growing seasons out of the tulips, uh, it's definitely something you can try. Um, let me know all about your, you know, your success down in the comments. I always love to hear about it. And tell me where you live because I'm always interested to see what regions can get them to rebloom because uh, even though I've tried several, several, I've even tried lifting the tulip bulbs and storing them inside. It didn't work. I've tried several different types of bulbs um, to get them to rebloom and they just simply don't for me, unfortunately. Another question that I see a lot is how late in the season that you can plant tulips. Again, this really just depends on uh, where you are in your growing region. Here for me, I find that I can usually get away with planting tulips um, into late December and they will still bloom um, or anytime the soil can still be worked. Usually by the time it's too late for tulips, my soil can no longer be worked because it's too cold. In general, I believe um, tulips need at least 14 weeks of cold treatment in order to initiate flowering. So as long as you're kind of doing that calculation, doing 14 to 16 weeks, something like that, I think uh, generally they should bloom. Another question is, uh, how do you organize different varieties best to get a full uh, mixed flower bed? I guess that's what that's supposed to say. How close do you plant each bulb for the best effect? Do your flowers become smaller? I always I already kind of touched on um, all those kind of things, except for how to organize them. It really is your own preference. Uh, here in my yard, I don't organize things for beauty necessarily. Um, I do think that a lot of times they end up looking very, very pretty, um, but I don't really go for aesthetic as much as I go for production. Um, sometimes I do kind of categorize each different type by either similar types like purple and pink might go together or I'll just go a completely contrasting route. I don't know, something just vibrant and that really stands out. I don't really... It really just comes down to your own personal taste. I find that a lot of doubles and parrots and singles can look really good mixed together because they have kind of a diversity. You can also mix together the plantings um, according to mid, late, and early. Um, believe it or not, tulips actually have different bloom seasons and some of them are very, very early and some of them are very, very late. So that's also uh, something that you can take into account when you are planting your tulips. What I like to do, anytime I have early season tulips, I like to kind of put them in containers sometimes uh, if I'm looking for something that's a little bit more decorative because they tend to bloom when they are quite a bit shorter and I think it looks nice in containers. Um, it's really just up to you uh, experimenting a little bit of trial and error. Sorry, I don't have any other tips for that. Our last question is any tips for warmer zones, zone eight and above? And uh, that really just goes back to the question about refrigerating them. Uh, do your research, uh, look for pre-chilled varieties, and if you wanna chill your own, uh, don't be afraid to experiment with that. Um, unfortunately, I don't have all the answers about chilling tulip bulbs because like I said, I've never done it. 
Uh, but I do have a spare fridge and this is definitely one of those examples of when it comes in handy to have a spare fridge that you use for nothing but garden stuff and I know that's very much a privilege uh, even though this fridge that I use is from like 1964 um, you know it's it's nice to have it is a privilege to have that to do kind of garden stuff with it also if maybe you're worried that you won't be able to grow tulips in the ground you can always refrigerate the tulip bulbs um, or keep them in a cool place and you can force them to bloom uh, over the winter time you can always force them to bloom over the winter time um, that's a project that I've definitely done in the past is just storing the tulip bulbs in the fridge like I said uh, in the spare fridge and pulling those out uh, after they have been refrigerated for several weeks and forcing those indoors on my kitchen table or a windowsill or you know wherever you'd like an extra pop of color that gets a little bit of sunshine it's a great way to kind of pass the winter time especially if you live in a place like me that gets super cold um, but that's really about it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, hopefully I answered some of your questions. As always, you can leave any other questions down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. But I'm always really excited to see other people helping each other in the comments section with their own experiences. So that's cool too. I learn so much from you guys and from reading the comments and your different experiences. I really enjoy it. Um, if you're new to the channel and this is your first video that you watched and you liked it, be sure to subscribe. I'd absolutely love to have you here on our little gardening channel. We're just trying to grow our little gardening community. Uh, be sure to hit the bell icon for notifications whenever we upload a new video. Uh, share this video with a friend. Leave a comment. Leave a like. It all really, really helps us grow. So I appreciate it so, so, so much. As always, the links to all my stuff is down in the description below. The link to Instagram, the link to our Facebook group, the link to the blog where you can see kind of more information about the posts that we are making here, as well as our links to our wax melt shop that helps support the channel, and um, links to Patreon, which helps with things like editing and, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you are having an incredible day and I'll talk to you all later. Bye guys.